wonderful friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on June 2nd, 2022. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, earthquakes, volcanoes, and as well a world weather forecast. As we already showed earlier today, we did have that earth-facing CME and solar flare. Just looking at the last 48 hours, 304 angstroms on our sun. You can see both of the events bottom right hand side and left hand side cresting looking at the last 48 hours incoming no major new events to talk about as posted earlier with a small space weather update looking at outgoing imagery here left hand side watching that fiery region sunspot region Get a little more active just before that large CME blast. Observing the events here on the multi spectrum. I want to give a big shout out and thank you to all of the developers and researchers over at Solar Dynamics Observatory. Appreciate this open source media video animation. Having a look at 193 angstroms. There are no coronal holes to talk about right now. And we are now out of the coronal hole wind stream that we've been going through for about two days. And now we're going to be expecting more space weather coming in on the 5th, 6th, and 7th. If you haven't seen the most recent update video, please check it out. It gives you a forecast on when that's coming in. Solar X-ray flux remains in B range. Nothing to report since. Looking at LASCO 2 and 3, showing that large CME blast and solar flare. So the CME blast was on the right-hand side, and it looks like there was a flare incoming in the cresting side of our sun, left-hand side there. Real-time solar wind. Still heading downwards, sitting at 368 kilometers per second right now, after being up over 500 kilometers per second this morning. Schumann resonance for today, still a healthy power of 67. And watch for that to get highly energetic over the next two days. Amplitude of 67, quality of 13, power of 41, sorry, 43. Now let's have a look at earthquakes past 24 hours. Things are starting to pick up again after being through a lull today. But just recently we had some activity in Alaska, Chicknack, Alaska, 5.1 earthquake, 62 kilometer depth, as well a couple 4.1s, Rat Islands, Aleutian Islands, 3.5 up here in Fark, Alaska. 4.1 reported Bay Point, California, east of San Francisco Bay Area as well as sizable 3.8 here to report in Mena, Nevada. Other than that, there are no major swarms to talk about. That little swarm beside San Francisco has since ceased. Also a 4.7 there to report in Nicaragua. Action continues through Dominican and Puerto Rico. And then the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, we saw some sizable earthquakes there, 5.1 and a 4.9. Looking through South America, 4.5 there, northern Peru, Tabalosos, as well as 4.3 there in Talca, Peru, 146 kilometer depth, and Chile, 4.5. And look at this, even down here, Pacific Antarctic Ridge rocking a 5.4 and a 5.0 there, South Sandwich Islands. Now, earlier I had reported that there was a 6 point, or there was a 4.1 earthquake, 680 kilometer depth, it's since gone. So these are the two deepest earthquakes past 24 hours through PG. Philippines Plate seeing a lot of activity today as well. 5.5 and a 5.2 reported. 4.6, 4.9 into the Banda Sea. So active day through the region. 4.5 here, Indonesia, just north of Krakatoa. And you know, Yononaki, Yonokani, Japan. The only earthquake through the region. 4.0 there, pretty deep for Afghanistan. And 
Spain, 4.9 earthquake. The Strait of Gibraltar, Melilla, Spain, 4.9. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Expecting a big one here tonight or tomorrow. So heads up, have a plan, be ready. Hashtag no fear here. Having a look here at the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent satellite imagery and as well the most recent volcanoes getting updated. Starting out here with Reventador in Ecuador, Manam, Papua New Guinea, Dokono in Indonesia, Swiss and Ajima in Japan, Etna in Italy. And that's about all the volcanoes getting updated today, about five of them. But some pretty big ones at that. Manam and Etna have been going strong the last few days. Having a look around the world, satellite imagery. We do have a tropical storm now named Alex. That's right. Tropical storm Alex was a Pacific hurricane as it crossed Mexico into the Atlantic and is now named Alex. Will be possibly a tropical one or two category when it hits the coast of Florida. Weather forecast is coming right up. Just having a quick look around the rest of the world for satellite imagery. Still some very big systems spinning across all of the northern hemisphere oceans. No major tropical systems to talk about, but a pretty big system here off the coast of Spain, bringing in waves of moisture throughout Europe. And as well, long line of moisture there just underneath that 4.9 earthquake that struck Spain east of the Gibraltar State Strait. Having a look here at the southern hemisphere, showing huge systems, large atmospheric rivers stretching out from South America into one of the largest systems on the planet under Africa. Wow. Some big changes coming, folks. Just remember, whatever happens in the southern hemisphere happens in the north, and so on and so forth. Just like every action, there's a reaction. Having a look here at the last seven days, visible imagery across North America, pretty strong system coming out of Colorado, heading into Manitoba. That one's going to bring snow to parts of northern Manitoba. Welcome to our new jet stream for the new mini ice age. Massive system off the coast of the west coast and as well the east coast right now. And watching coming out of Mexico up into the Gulf of Mexico is now Hurricane Alex. Most likely a Category 2 when it makes landfall. Let's have a look at the five-day forecast brought to you by Venture Sky and Dilly Events Worldwide. We're going to start out here with the forecast for Tropical Storm Agatha, who has turned into Alex. So right now she is positioned, or he is posi positioned just under Haiti, into the Gulf of Mexico it goes for Friday, and then making landfall overnight Friday into Saturday. Watch for stormy conditions to move in, and then the low-pressure center is going to go straight across the tip of Florida for Saturday. And then it's going to race towards the Bahamas, but most likely as a tropical system. But we'll see, because I remember many hurricanes developing right in that region off the coast so heads up everybody having a look here across north america a drying trend is moving across eastern parts of canada and the united states and as well some cooler conditions below average temperatures for eastern canada and as well western canada look at all this rain coming in for the next few days for Oregon, Washington, and Vancouver into BC. And then a couple systems spawning off from all the moisture through the United States. But nothing major to develop until Tuesday or Wednesday. Could see some extreme weather developing. For next weekend, actually. Other than that, no major weather systems affecting in United States and Canada, except for that big winter storm, which I talked about last update. Having a look here at South America, long line of moisture. That's the atmospheric river I was showing. Heading right through Buenos Aires. Pretty strong system heading into Chile for Saturday. Coastline 
Daily evaporation rains for the rest of the country. Overlooking Africa, no major weather systems affecting you. You could have some pretty decent cool temperatures heading your way in the long range. So stay tuned to daily events worldwide. Possible tropical system here developing in the Indian Ocean as well. Five-day forecast shows that tracking a line heading northward back in to parts of India for the long range. But we'll see. Things can change dramatically as we know. Overlooking Europe. Waves of moisture from that low off the coast of Spain. Heading through one low over Finland. South of Finland. But no major weather systems affecting you at the moment. Overlooking Russia, very large low there with about three lows underneath of it. Surface level lows, upper level lows. Overlooking Southeast Asia and Japan, no major tropical systems heading your way, but you could have a downgraded tropical system there just grazing the Japan Islands. Overlooking Australia. Watch for a cooling trend to start pretty much tonight and then get cooler as the days go by. This big low from the Antarctic heading northward into parts of southeastern Australia and Tasmania. But watch for that moisture to smash into a high pressure ridge and then join forces with this low possibly over Tasmania. So big weather changes coming for southeastern Australia. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Please, if you did, hit that like button. Stay aware, prepared, stay young and have fun. And get your daily do. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.